All right, so now that I've got my hair selected and I went back into my layer mask um, <clears throat> to fix up anything that I needed, um, I'm going to, I don't want to leave it just plain old, this big blob of yellow hair above my head. Um, <clears throat> so I can, these are my blending modes. So you'll notice that there's a ton of different things to do in here, and each one does something a little bit different. Um, if I want to combine the background with the foreground like I just have here, I want to be able to see the, like this layer underneath of this and but have both of them show at the same time. I go to multiply. Um, and what that does is like it just does that. like it it merges the two layers together visually. Um, so I can see the texture that's underneath of that. So that's sort of important. Um, some layers, like I didn't want to multiply the background because I didn't want to, you know, have the stuff underneath of it that, uh, you know, that shows. Uh, in fact, I don't even know what would happen if I did. I mean, I could try it, but I can always undo that change. So I sort of want to do that, like, you know, I'll do the same thing for my skin. Um, as a matter of fact, why don't I just do that? I'll go back into my threshold layer. So I'll grab all my skin. And I'm going to deselect some of this stuff. If you noticed, I used the magic wand for that because my skin was all white. Um, and I wanted to... Uh... <clears throat> select all that out. Although I don't want these white parts in here. because it's my eyeball and not my skin. And what's going to do this is it. I just don't want those areas in there. Everything else is fine. Um, and it didn't get my other ear. So I'll go back to this and hold the shift key down and grab that ear. OK. It's also going to turn my earrings the same color. But I'll go back and use a layer mask to fix that. Just to review that, OK, so I'm in my threshold. I'm going to click uh, on the half moon, solid color. Um, you can see where I didn't select. I can fix that up later. Um, and uh, let's pick a skin color. Oh, that's pleasant. Um, I want to, you know, I'm going to change all these colors later on. So I want to sort of keep it semi-normal looking. Okay, so in this layer, I'm going to grab my brush and fix up some of this stuff in here. I have to be careful here because some of it's black, and uh, so I have to be... Actually, let's do this first. Um, okay. Oh, look at that. That showed up. Um, okay, now I want to come in here and do this stuff. Oops. All right. Now with the background multiplied, I'm not going to take out that black there. I'm going to go. Here's my areas that I was missing. Maybe I'll give myself eyeshadow. I'll have to make a layer for eyeshadow. We'll see what happens. Um, OK. So there that all is. I want to, this area, I want it to be a different color. So I don't actually want any color in there. I don't know if you can see. It, the change is actually also happening over here. It's really kind of tiny. Um, <clears throat> but different blending modes do do different things. So if I go back here and I could do color burn. Some of them, um, depending upon what you have, uh, we'll be using this a lot when we do our portrait lesson. Uh, there's screen. I don't know. I, I, you just have to sort of try some of them. Um, and this, I'm just going to stick with multiply, obviously, because we need that one. Um, so those are, um, you know, bl different blending modes um, and how it blends with your background. All right.